I just got a check. They just said, they done told us Netta's yeah. birthday. Well, how you just give her a new name, though? Her name is Joe. It's not Joe Netta. Well, what you thought it was? It was either, I thought it was either Joe or Netta. It's it, both. It's both. Because she both. <laughs> She's really not. <laughs> she's she's one. Let me put my wig down, girl. Miss <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> Nada didn't do anything to me, Miss Palmer. It's just jokes. <laughs> girl, it's not just jokes. Because, girl, every time I turn around, girl, and, girl, when that girl, listen, because I'm going to be out prize season book. <laughs> okay. Girl, you, you think this girl's going to hit, hit me with me on Nora too, bitch? With Thor's hammer, girl? I don't want to be bust with Thor's hammer, girl. Cause of some shit that you said. Oh, so oh, so I'm the only one sitting here talking about Joe. Bitch, I never say that the disparaging things about Miss Nell. But you did just say Joe Netta. But that's her name. <laughs> <laughs> I name is Joe Netta. You know what? They say her cash app is Joe Netta. Oh, really? Yeah, cash app Joe oh. Netta. J O E Netta. <laughs> Let me send Joe Netta twenty dollars <laughs> from the fans. No, no, not from me. That's from you. No, we gonna do it from do it from the fans. I'm gonna send Joe. Netta. Put, put it from fan talk. <laughs> Joe Netta. Happy birthday <laughs> from fan talk. Happy you birthday. Are, you are so messy. How? Joe Netta. J O N E. Hold on. We finna send. We finna send Joe Netta. Shit. Joe Netta. J. Come on, somebody spell it. Joe Netta. J O E. J O E N. E-T-T-A. You, you need to go on her Instagram. It's probably over there. <laughs> so it's a half of fag talk. <laughs> Netta Charles. Netta Charles. That's it's, it? How you know that's it? <clears throat> right. View the profile. Hit the view profile. Oh, they say Joe Netta 424. I don't know about that. Exactly. You Where's 424? You might be sitting what to Aaron a random code, person. What Aaron called is 424. Let me look. But don't they live in Atlanta now? They live in Alabama. Oh, I thought they moved to Atlanta. I don't know. It's a lot of Joe Nettas on here. <laughs> yeah, because it's probably a bunch of people faking. Yeah. No, yeah, 424 is California. Yeah, let me get out of this. <clears throat> let, me, cause, let, me, let me not do that. I was going to go with the cess food. <laughs> no, let me not do this because I was show for the sitting on $24. Someone said it's Joe Netta Charles. And this person, Shamar Wells, said it's Joe Netta Charles. Well, there's a lot of them in there. Uh, no, I don't know about that. Until we can confirm... You gotta hold off on Yeah, I gotta hold because I was definitely finna send her 20, 25, $25. dollars <laughs> Twelve dollars and fifty cent for me, twelve dollars and fifty cent for Craig. Girl, you ain't sending her nothing for me. <laughs> you are not sending her anything for me. <laughs> well, go, go ahead and DM her and ask her what her no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. But I would definitely send her birthday money. <laughs> well, girl, first of all, she went all them um Knockoffs, she's gonna need more than $24, $25. Listen, I wear knockoffs, but I'm rich. Girl, you know, you don't wear knockoffs. I just don't wear no name at all. Correct. <laughs> she wears <laughs> she wears knockoffs. You right. Now, Craig, I'm with you when you bite. So you gonna have to say more than $25. I don't wear no name at all. Right. It's just stretch piece. <laughs> Correct. Or fashion over. Or fashion over. I will, I will wear fashion, fashion over. Correct. You True. know more because I done bought you some fashion over for your birthday. Yeah, yeah. That shit too small. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's that because they washed it after two washes. It's on honey, <laughs> honey, because that shit that shit come through the mail irregular with them harsh dyes and chemicals all in the fabric. That's how you got to dry the old fashioned way. Hang it up. Hang it up. <laughs> you got to hang Bitch, it up. Bitch, in fact, you need to you need to hand wash her <laughs> in a little pail or in the sink. Yes, see, she was specifically talking to your motherfucking ass, bitch. <laughs> Nella, when she no, cussed, she was not. Nella was on there cussing all them folks out, bitch, on the internet. Nella well, say, fuck y'all. Well, listen, now, she... I, now, what, now, what did happen then? That that, that, that that white girl, Miss Gabe. Uh, Who was that? Shout out to some white queen, honey. That's on, that people, you know, you know they, they let everybody at the cookout because they got a little Ebonics and they, girl, <laughs> they speak with a little double, 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 double negatives in. And they, they they let everybody to the cookout. Correct. <laughs> so Gabe uh had done said uh uh had done call the police on Nella because Nella said she was gonna whoop him. Oh mm. for real? Yeah. Oh, when they went through that trailer. Yeah. Well, girl, it was a double wide trailer, girl. And I tried to tell you the other week before you got up here in front of all of these thousands of people and congratulated them on congratulated house. on my motherfucking house that they excuse never me, motherfucking excuse bought. Excuse me. Excuse me, Craig. I'm listening. You can't. Uh, uh, double wide trailer can't be a house. Yeah, but that wasn't the one that you saw. <laughs> no, she was down there to the housing people. 
get in the house. That double wide trailer is, and no offense to those of you that are living in the and there's wide nothing trailer. wrong with a double wide trailer. I didn't trailer. say that there was, and that is, and that is property. That is property that Correct. you can't buy at all. But that is not the one that you said that they purchased. <laughs> I'm just looking for clarity here. That is not the house that you said was going to appear on Love and Hip Hop. Girl, it might be. <laughs> Girl, if they if they roll that double wide on Love and Hip Hop, bitch, I'm writing into the network. Why? Aren't there? But aren't there stipulations that you have to uh, like, like uh, what do you call it? requirements that you need to be on Love and Hip Hop? Like, don't you have to have a certain like, uh, what's the word? Catalog. Of Girl, as long as you got somebody following you on the internet. Them people over there, I don't All know. All I know is that house is not the same one. But Craig, there's nothing wrong with a double wide trailer. I didn't say that there was. Because just you're still back there. Yeah, I'm up here. I know you up there, but I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna let it be known before somebody gets up there and but, and then but, but, but gets me gets me caught up back there. But but, saying, but, but no, I was no, reading the no, double no, wide, no. which I was not reading the double wide. I've already said we're not talking about the double wide, we're talking about the home that you said. Well, girl, I went by what they what they put on the internet. Well, girl, they also put on it that they buying Fendi and Gucci and all of those things in Louis Vuitton. But they might be, Greg. No, they're not. Greg, they, they might be. They are not. They might have got them custom made. You know no, no. Louis Vuitton and Gucci don't make those things. <laughs> but Craig, it's okay. They might it's but Craig, stop it. It is okay. What I don't think is okay is that they're pretending. <sighs> Is that they're pretending they're, they're trying to pass those things off. So they probably say, I just got you this. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If they came in there with some gifts for me, first of all, I don't have to have names. But if they came in here and were presenting me something with, as a gift and they wanted me to, they wanted to fool me into believing. Come on. That it was Gucci. Stop bloviating and come on. <laughs> 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 that it was Louis Vuitton, uh -huh. which, by the way, Louis Vuitton used to, um, you know, used to have a traveling circus, and black people were the were the main act. Did you all know that? Come on, oh, tell no. us about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a traveling circus, and black people were the the, the main attraction. Like monkeys being. Uh, oh, absolutely. White people used to come in and view y'all. <laughs> no, no, it's this. So for all, <laughs> right? No, so, it's so, not them. so for all it's of you, it's more y'all than us. So for all of you that are look. So for all of you that are spending your money on Louis Vuitton. I'm, I'm African. It's okay, y'all close to the wilderness than we are. Correct. So, <laughs> so, right, right, right. right. y'all are closer to the wilderness than we are. <laughs> so for all of you that are spending your money over there in Louis Vuitton, we're in the metropolis. <laughs> right. We're in the Don't metroplex. Do Don't even do that. They had Don't a traveling circus. You better Google it. Listen, I'm, not, I'm only going to give you facts when I come over here. <laughs> I'm only going to give you facts. Uh. So y'all girls that be reading me by having my white people on my wall and y'all having those white people on your back? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and on your feet. See, the difference between those white people on my wall and those white on your back, I can pull those off and take those to the white people they're going to buy it back for me. <laughs> but they they not taking none of that musty shit y'all got on back to nobody so big and reselling it. It's not going to happen. Okay. And you know what else they... um. What, they support Project 2025? <laughs> they probably do. I don't know. But what I can tell you is they have less than 1% senior VP as, 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 as colored people. Well, you can tell because all those all those girls that they're getting all those those off brand ones, they have to get it to fit their feet because they only make it for a European foot. Correct. Mm -hmm. And y'all ain't there trying to squeeze y'all feet in them little <laughs> tiny ass, narrow ass shoes. But anyway, back to Netta and Charles. No, no, we done. <laughs> that double wide load. No, no, we're done. They've already been in. No, no, we're done. And when she went around that house with that uh, phone, when that officer was there, she didn't really, she didn't want to hold it up. You know that, right? She had it down to the floor. She didn't want us to see what a disgrace. Moke, we go on. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Mm -mm. I'm not doing this too, Craig. I'm not. I'm not doing that to Craig. This is not happening today. <laughs> what's the first thing we talk about? Because we because I just need to go ahead and get it out of the way. What's the first thing, Mo? What's that is right there? What that is? Yeah, what is that? Girl, I don't even know what's going on here. Oh well, 
you guys will see. Okay, What's this? Go. Man, I've been around here crying uh, like a homosexual at James Cleveland's funeral. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I don't get about the pastors. <laughs> y'all be, it's so many of y'all punks. That's pastors. Please. And, and they be the main ones up there preaching about somebody. How you over there crying at a homo, like a homosexual at a James Cleveland funeral? <laughs> Why y'all don't ever break up none of the bulldaggers that still be up there saying this shit in the church like <laughs> Shirley Caesar? Juanita Bino. Juanita Bino. Bitch, please. Okay, allegedly. Thank you. Why y'all don't never break up? <laughs> why y'all don't ever be crying like Why y'all never talk about the bulldog? They never do. <laughs> but here's the thing. Can I stretch this a little? Go ahead. It ain't even just the, they the, say who is James Cleveland. Can you break that down? Yeah, I can. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I, that, that's exactly where Wait. I was going. Wow. Go ahead. Now James Cleveland was a fag. He allegedly he, <laughs> he was a fag. <laughs> the street scene. <laughs> oh James James. <laughs> out of signs over there i am <laughs> now james cleaver was a fag <laughs> now he was friends with aretha franklin's father now i'm not saying that they were doing anything i'm just saying they were friends if you watch the movie, you know, he came over and he, you know, he was a part of the ministry and all that stuff. Well, the James Cleveland, James Cleveland had a music fellowship program. Watch this. Remember how Eddie Long had the Longfellow Academy? Rest in soul, rest his rest his soul. The Longfellow Academy was what Eddie Long used to usher in. See what I did right there with the word usher? You did. He ushered in the young boys. Remember, it was like seven young boys across the United States that were telling the same story about Eddie Long. He was bringing them through the Longfellow Academy. And it was supposed to be like a mentorship program for young boys who came from single moms, who were being raised by single moms. So it was supposed to be like a mentoring program, right? James Cleveland's program, I can't remember the name of it, but he had a ministry, a music ministry, and it was for young boys who were in the church, who were into music, like they had a music um, prowess, if you will. Well, baby, he was using that program to seduce the little boys like Eddie Long was doing, the Longfellow Academy. Oh, wow. James Cleveland. Yeah. 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 My children out of here. here. <laughs> <laughs> and he adopted some children too. Oh my God, James Cleveland. I'm on James Cleveland. Oh my James God. James Cleveland also adopted. Now watch this. Now I know. This, <laughs> now I know part of the community ain't gonna like when I say this, but this is the truth. You can Google this. It said that James Cleveland passed the supermarket sweep. The supermarket sweep to one of the children that he adopted. Oh, wow. This can be Googled. So don't be emailing me, y'all. Talk about why he always got to talk about HIV and uh, no, we no, we didn't say the name. We just said supermarket sweep. Don't do that. No, no, we not. Well, well, we all know what the supermarket sweep is. We do not, but we we just use acronyms. <laughs> she said sweep. we do not. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, so we don't know what it is. Okay. No. <laughs> well, anyway, the point is, <laughs> what, 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 what is it? <laughs> One more time. <laughs> no, what, what is? <laughs> Okay, so so at any rate, uh, uh. <laughs> right? <laughs> and so what happened was this young boy that he um passed that on to ended up filing a lawsuit. Against James Cleveland. Again, you can document this. You know, you can you can see the documentation on this. No, we don't want to document it because the fags they say nothing. Craig said it. <laughs> the fags they said a motherfucking thing. <laughs> well, at any rate, he ended up uh suing him. Um, <clears throat> but but the but the boy that you know, the young guy that he adopted and uh-huh, sweet. <laughs> Right. Okay. A friend of mine knew him. Okay. And um, he just wasn't right after that. Like, <laughs> just the trauma of it all and 
all of that. But yeah, so this has been going on in the church community for a long time. So that pastor who was up there talking about James Cleveland, so the analogy was accurate. It's just that why do they always got to keep their mouths on the punks? Why do they always got to talk about the, the and, homosexuals? You ain't got nothing else to talk about in church? I guess not. I guess they don't. Because I don't... I would actually want to hear what, what the sermon was about that even... Right. Well, well, how did he even tie that in there? Yeah. It's a mess, though. Do what they saying down there, Craig, because you finna get me all fat. I got the they have it. They're not saying nothing bad, Maddie. Nothing bad is being said. <laughs> you you sure? good. Yes, I'm sure. I'm, I'm, I'm reading the comments. I'm reading the comments. Because this is what they was definitely saying at the new motherfucking bed. Your pussy! Hey, bring the camera or something. Bring the camera. All the young girls who want to make life with pussy, your pussy will perish with you in hell. May your pussy perish with you. May your smooth pussy, clean your pussy, and tight pussy perish with you. They wanted all the pussies to perish. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> They said, keep the nigga, but all the pussies can perish. <laughs> okay. oh. But yeah, so just a little history for you all on this Pride Month. Mm -hmm. Why did the, I just can't do it no more. What's wrong? Why, Why they do that? Do Talk about the, the oh. facts. Well, I hope y'all don't be doing that over there at y'all church. No. Y'all don't talk about, do y'all talk about no, homosexuality you know, at y'all church? Actually, no. It's, the majority of our messages are about you know, just following the word and showing love and y'all have any homosexuals over there at your church? There's only about good nine. Yeah, actually you're right. Oh, so y'all don't have a choir. Because <laughs> if y'all had a choir, I know you'd have a good 30. Mm -mm, because my dad is my dad, because my dad, okay, funny enough, my dad used to be uh majority of the African churches here. He used to be a, the head of them. Mm. But when he saw how much drama and how much Headache it was. He said, let me just So my what is it like being a preacher's kid? Y'all got any fags in your choir? They don't have a choir. You don't have a choir. Oh, y'all don't have I oh, that's your what, what, what is it like being a preacher's kid? Y'all don't sing? No, we sing, but we don't have a choir. But what we is it like home. being a preacher's kid? Mm. I mean take me home. <laughs> <laughs> you keep drinking that juice, you're going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> but no, go ahead, Mo. No, uh, how I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to explain how it is. Mo doesn't have siblings. Mo is no, the only child. Me. But um how it is, I mean, my parent, I mean my dad specifically, specifically my dad was really strict. My mom was the more lenient one. So like if I was asking my mom, I was like, Mom, can I do this? She's most likely the one that's gonna be like Cause yeah. you're the only child. Yeah, but my dad is was more like. Do your daddy know I'm a transsexual? Ooh, that no, pause said it all. No, no, he doesn't. I don't. I don't I, like my parents. I don't talk. You are ashamed of your 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 boss, your employer. No, no. no. Are you ashamed? They, of they talk because I talk to him about. I talk are you to ashamed? So they they know she's a trainee. No, they don't know. She's hold a hold on, hold on. Uh huh. Are you ashamed of me, Curtis? No, I'm not. <laughs> Curtis, you were, Curtis, you were supposed to love me. I'm not. Well, and the, the honest truth is, the honest truth is, I you was a, Curtis was supposed to love me. And the honest truth is, me and, and you know, you know me and my Maddie, you know me and my dad's relationship. We are, we we find your take your time, no, find your we, words. We love we love each other, but we're not like we're not like super close. So we don't talk. We don't really talk. So he knows that I work. He knows who I work for. Okay, so, so does your mom? Know, does your mom know? No. It's too many principles following. Because my I don't talk to my par my parents really don't Craig, know. So I'm gonna pop up around and tell them I'm pregnant and see if they. Can <laughs> see my them. parents really don't. Me and I'm my going, parents. I'm going to knock on the door and tell them I'm pregnant. To see when it comes to me and my this? parents, me and my parents, we, <laughs> we don't. We don't. <laughs> we don't what me and my parents, what is really these McDowell's? <laughs> We don't, first of all, we don't talk every single day. Me and my parents don't talk every single day. What is this, Number McDowell's? Two, when we talk, it's, huh? it's very, it's very like, hey, what is this? Doing? Me and my parents, we're not really, we don't, I don't really go in depth about What my is this, McDowell's? When it comes to my parents. Huh? So, like, even if I'm dating, my parents don't know. 
if I'm whatever what because I'm just McNowitz? I don't know. Me, ashamed. No, what? it's not ashamed. It's what just is that this? me and my parents okay, I'll put it like this. What is this? If you McDowell's? have African parents, you'll know exactly what I mean. You're ashamed. No, what is this? African parents are very so eh? much in the sense of not with that when they shit. find out, no, when what they find this? out about what's going on in your life, is this they're the type of people that want to like mm-hmm. control eh? a lot of stuff. Is this McDowell's? So, like, if I perfect example, because it, it's not just with work, it's even let's just say I'm, I'm in a relationship, right? Uh-huh. If I tell my parents, hey, I'm in a relationship with somebody, I'm talking to somebody right now. It doesn't even it doesn't matter how long I could be dating this person. For, I could have just started dating this person two days ago. They want to they want to know everything. I'm like, I'm still knowing if I want to. So basically, the- you telling me when I show up over there, see Mrs. Jollof, I'm pregnant. He's not gonna he go, what is this? No, you just be what is at this? You. No, you just be looking at you like what is who is this, who is this woman who talking is this? all this rubbish? Huh? What, is this rubbish what is this McDowell's? What is this McDowell's? You mean to tell me, Hakeem? You take home the whole star. <laughs> but no, so, that's so, just, so, so, so you, you, you know what I just gathered from this? Come on, it's Pride Month. Now he, yeah, this is Pride Month. Come on, Craig, stop bloviating. He, go for, he he didn't tell his family about you, but he told the the, the coworkers yeah. about you. My coworkers asked me. Okay, my coworkers asked me, "Who do I work for?" I told them who I work for. They asked about what does she do. I told them what she does. My parents don't ask. And I'm not the type of person that just comes out and just starts spewing my whole life to people. You ask me a question, I answer it. You don't ask me nothing, you'll never find out. It's that simple. It's that simple. Is that is it is as simple as that. My parents ask me, how is work? Work is fine. Oh, what did you? What do you do for work? I'm I do uh I do production engineer. I tell them about Maddie or whatnot. They say, oh, how how is how is the lady that you work for? I say it's fine. Everything is going great. Da 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 da. Simple as that. But to go in and start asking a whole bunch of questions, they don't ask. I don't say anything because I'm not the type of person. I've never had that type of relationship with my parents. Never. I've never had that type of. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. Let me tell you about everything that's going on in my life. I've never had that relationship with my parents ever. So, are you buying? That's this? just how it is. I. Oh, okay. Because Maddie knows my relationship with my yeah, parents. Maddie he, really. He, honest, Maddie's you honestly, only kid, he's an only. Kid. You also bought that Ned and Charles bought a house. Okay, what else are we talking about today? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I'm no, kidding, mom. No, I know, but no, sir, and Maddie <laughs> seriously does know because I've, yeah. talk, I've talked to Maddie about. Yeah. Like when when Mo when, is my friend. Yeah, when, yeah. I mean, we joke and we do a lot. I do a lot of jazz. No, I'm kidding. Mo. No, no, no. I, no, I, I joke. No, I, I do a lot of jazz. Not, I not. joke and do a lot of jazz and shit. Yeah. But Mo is my friend. <clears throat> like, right. Mo is my friend. Right. No, because honestly, Maddie knows a lot of stuff because there are times when I was really going through some stuff. With my yeah, family, yeah, 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 yeah. Maddie was the one I was coming to. Yeah, that's my friend. Like, that's so, my, that is my friend. Yeah. yeah. So me and so me and my parents, we we've never really had this type of relationship where I just go to them and I'm just telling them about my whole life or what's yeah. going on in my whole life. I've never had that relationship with my that's parents. That's my dog. And so it's just... And Miss Mary no, because that's his... Yeah, Miss, yeah, even Miss Mary That's no. his American mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even Miss Mary no. Yeah, so, you know... So, I mean, I just don't... But he's still going to get jabbed every so often because I'm just... That's just me. <laughs> I wouldn't be me if I don't jab him. Right. <laughs> but don't get me wrong. I love my, I love my parents, though. <clears throat> I love my parents. We you better... We just don't have that type of relationship. You better. Right. That's it. Okay. You better love your parents. I do love my parents. I'm always love my parents. Ladies, you judge a man based on how he loves his mama or his daddy. But definitely how he judge how he his mama. Oh, yeah. Because if a parents. man got a problem with his mama, bitch, you is out of gas. <laughs> I just want to let all my ladies know if a nigga got a problem with his mama. Bitch, you out of gas. If he don't respect his mama, you fucked up. Ain't shit you gonna be able to come in there and do. Oh yeah, I used to. I used to be ready to fight over my mama. Yeah. And then- ain't shit you gonna be able to come in there, and motherfucker. Do if a man and his mama got problems, bitch, you got problems. Ain't no, you best well leave that man alone. Mm-hmm. Cause ain't shit you gonna have problems for the rest of your motherfucking life with that nigga. And in the same vein, if he has a problem 
with supporting children that he has with another woman. Bitch, that's, you, a, that's a red flag also. And you think he's going to do good by you if something happens between you two? Now, hold on, Brian McKnight. Perfect example. Hold on. <laughs> he do right by his other children. Yeah, the ones that he got with that Asian lady. Well, maybe the ones he really wanted. But the one he got with Marilee. But Bitch, see, I've done my history. But come on, let's talk about it since, we, since, we since here. we're here. Nah. Now, with that black lady. And you know, I was just thinking about this the but other Craig, day, But come on. I'm not taking up for no niggas. I don't never take up for no nothing-ass nigga. But I'm always going to be a devil's advocate. Okay, what's the, what, what you want to say? She, what if she rolled that dick the mother, and wrote because she's Brian McKnight? Because the, 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 listen, let's not play. Let's not play like women's is always innocent. In no, they're situation. not. But Mara Lee, which is his first wife. Not Sarah Lee? Mara Lee. Oh, that's Sarah Lee the next to second. Correct. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> you see what I did? I do. Nobody does it like I, I, Sarah Lee. I, I saw but go ahead. But it's like he had children with her. They had been together for years. I think they, they were together like when they were younger. Mm -hmm. And my thing is I'm noticing, and I was thinking about this the other day, it feels like when black men in particular start dating outside of their race after years of dating black women, it, it feels to me, and ladies, you can correct me if I'm wrong, it feels to me like they are better with, for, and to women that are non-black. It's almost like they, we they, go. They, 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 they put their best foot forward. Here we go. They're more romantic. They're Man. this, then you know, they, you know what I mean. It's, it Craig, feels, you are you always open the door for me to start this shit. It, it feels like, and then that. you got more gonna be over there, Captain Saber, nigga. And my thing is, why it feels to me? Why do you be saying I'm? Because you about to be Captain Saber, nigga, in a minute. Because I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely finna agree wholeheartedly right, right. with my Craig about this. Right, because it feels like black women have to suffer first in order to get to love. Why do Why do black women have to suffer first? Why she got to be? Dealing with you and your baby mama, you got to have a kid on her. You got to be cheating chronically, you know, over and over and over and over until you finally shape the fuck up. Like, why, why, why she got to go Hold on, somebody said in the comments, go up, go, where, go, where go. What, right what, there, Joshua. Uh -huh. Joshua, oh. Joshua said, Black men feel like they are the prize with none black women. How y'all know? I had that mindset with men years ago. Wow. Somebody told the truth here on this day Sunday on this yeah. on the second day of Pride. Yeah, I mean, I just well, they feel like they hold on. Come on, let me let me devil's advocate here. Uh -huh. they, about to, about you you ready? You you ready, ready Mo? Strap your shoes up. Oh, man. I'm laced up. <laughs> Strap your shoes up. <laughs> they are laced up, bitch. Because first of all, I want to say one thing straight. I'm not I'm not Captain Save a nigga. I'm just about. I'm all about. Balance. Not, no, I'm, you exactly, all about balance. About balance because okay. I don't believe. I don't believe that things are are because somebody's male or man or female or woman. I don't think that's the reason why. So when you hear fifty, I think it's a people. I think it's a person thing. That's what I want to say. What okay. you think is a person thing? Oh, okay. like perfect example. What you just, what you just experienced? Yeah. I mean, I agree with you. Mind you, I oh, you saying, agree? I'm agreeing with you, but I can also say it's the other. I can also put the, the shoe on the other foot also because there, there are plenty of guys that are fathering kids that don't belong to them. That's true. That's true. Now, that is true. That is true. That is true. But let's stay on topic. Yes. <laughs> let's stay on that. That is true. Okay, go ahead. But we're not, we're not there right now. Okay, go ahead. We, 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 go come, ahead. we can come around that corner in a second. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, can, we can bend that corner in a second. Okay, go then ahead. Ladies, ladies, strap on your bonnet because we're coming ahead. around that corner. Yes, we are. Go yes, ahead. we are. Now, what I'm saying is, like, there's a whole TikTok. Those of you that are on TikTok, there's a whole TikTok that is like a, it's like a, a hashtag, black wife effect. And it's all these black women that are now dating black men. I mean, white men. And it's showing how these white men are now glowed up. Like, they got all this style and swag because this woman comes into his life and she puts this love on him and just brings out something different out of him. What I'm saying is, it feels like, when a black woman has been there, you know, in the dirt with a guy, mm -hmm. putting him through school or supporting him in whatever way, and I don't even necessarily mean financially. I just mean being a soft landing place for him, right? Or, or his kids or whatever the case is. And I just feel like, like in the case of Jeezy, like for about 20 minutes, he was really, really good to Jeannie Ma. 
You, my, you my, gave him 20 minutes? My, my 20 minutes. No, it was definitely, it was definitely <laughs> 15 and a half. <laughs> For about 20 minutes. It was definitely 15 and a half. But I'm, I'm just saying, it's just like, why does it feel, it feels like black women have to suffer first in order to get over that hill. It's almost like she has to prove herself and then he's like, oh, damn, she really she really been down for me. Like, she been down with me like two, four flat tires. And it's just like, you know, I, I need to go ahead and wife her. I need to really go ahead. I, I need to stop cheating on her and really do Charlemagne. I need to be good to her. <laughs> send, no. this, send this over to the oatmeal club. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like disagree with anything you're saying. Yes, there, but the reason why, and the reason why I usually do give you guys pushback is because of this, is because. Yes, I, I agree that there are guys like that, mm -hmm. but I can I can do the other thing before. How about when guys? How about when guys? And I'm not saying it's every single scenario, but how about when guys are trying to chase a female, uh, chase a chase a woman? What happened? We about to send you something to upload. We got here. It's breaking I mean, breaking news. Breaking news. We got we got we got, we got a new we got a new pride member. Oh shit! What, what we got? We got a new pride president. Hold on. <laughs> Go, no, I think she's ahead of the trainees. Yes. <laughs> but that's still the pride of pride. <laughs> right, right. Go ahead, Mo. I'm sorry. You got it, Mo? No, we we need this yet. in the system immediately. Okay. Immediately. This is breaking news. But remember your thought. But I was going to say that how about when, you know, guys are chasing and the guy could be a good guy. Okay. Taking you out on dates, buying you flowers, but you don't, but you ignore him and you just, and you still accept his gifts and his advances. But you don't really want to deal with them, and then you move on to Tyrone, who can break your back out, and then it's like the dude. Mo, just is, get a bigger dick. That's all you got to do. Well, I'm not talking about the, me. The, the lesbians talking, do it all the time. I'm not talking about me though. They I'm get bigger about, dicks all the time. I'm just talking about guys in general, other guys in general. I, I'm so, gonna agree with you. I, I am. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna agree with you. That definitely happens. So I'm saying, like, so all I'm just trying to say is that yes, I know as guys, me even. I have my faults. I know I've done some messed up stuff. We've all guys. been somebody's disappointment. We've right. all been someone's disappointment. Excuse me. But I just want people to also know that um, there's also another side to the coin. I'm not trying to say that guys are. I'm not trying to say that guys are trying to that are good and they don't do anything wrong because I know that's completely false. Mm -hmm. I know that's complete. There are a lot of ain't shit guys out there. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there are guys that also go through the same thing. And I just want us to be able to understand both sides of that spectrum. I'm with you when you're right. It ain't often, but I'm with you when you're right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because there are definitely instances where there are good guys, quote unquote, who, you know, they invest in a woman, they down for a woman, they're the good guy. You know, they do what they say they're going to do. And she doesn't want him because he's the good guy. Right. Because a lot of you women, now come on now, I'm usually on your side, but I need y'all to be honest with and yourself. And I'm one of them, so talk to me. Right. <laughs> talk but to but, me, but you got to be honest now. <laughs> talk to me. Some of y'all like toxicity. Talk to me. And some of y'all want the nigga that ain't shit, but he got swag. And good dick. Correct. Talk to me. And he got a nice car. He and got good money. dick. Correct. Talk to me. And he got money. And good dick. But y'all Talk to me. Correct. But y'all didn't want the nigga that was in school. Because he was driving the 1983. Well, see what y'all hold on about that nigga that's in school will get on you and bust that puss open the right way. And he, then he, right. he done study how the motherfucker hit that goddamn Lavia. And I don't even have a Lavia. And I was hit with <laughs> <laughs> from a school, a school nerd nigga. Hit my motherfucking pussy lips so good, bitch. Girl, what a hit, girl. Hitting them pussy lips so good, bitch. And I don't even got no pussy lips. Was tearing that motherfucker up so good. I say, God damn, I want to send this nigga back to school. <laughs> really mad. Just ain't have no swag. And see, and then, and then really because did. I did a podcast many years ago, and it was with guys, black guys, who were in relationship, who had been in relationships with women, and they had children with, and they, they, they decided, and, and I want y'all to really hear me when I say this. These three guys that I that I podcast with basically abandoned their children because it was just too difficult to spend time with their children because they had to go through a toxic woman. She made it so difficult. Every time she called that child's phone, I mean, every time he called that child's phone, here she go picking up the phone arguing. Or every time he called her phone to speak to the child, here she go arguing. And what happens is, not all the time, but in some instances, what happens is when that man moves on first he moves and, she, on. And, and she ain't moved on yet and she upset, especially if he hurt her. Especially right. if he cheated on her, mm -hmm. 
and she and he'd have moved on to someone else. Oh, she is enraged. Oh, Craig, come on, come on, let's get to she's this. enraged. And like in one of the instances, in one of the stories, thank you. And what I got this, in, I got this in the divorce. I got this in the divorce. But but in one of those stories, in one of those stories, this woman changed schools. She transferred her son to a different school. This man called to pick up the son. They're like, oh, he doesn't go here anymore. But again, Craig, a lot of times women weaponize their children. That's what I'm saying. In many instances, women weaponize their children. Yes. Those children that y'all, that, that, that they love to scream at, that we the trainees can't have. That, who? <laughs> that, that we the trainees can't uh -huh. have. Bitch, I flesh all them kids. But they weaponize. One day, Maddie. One day. No. <laughs> I mean, we can keep going and stuff, but it ain't not gonna come out. But boo boo, mm -hmm. mixed with a little semen, you know. Mm -hmm. But I have seen the women weaponize those children. They have those children to use them. So again, we, we don't went all this to circumvent back to me talking about Brian McKnight and yeah. those two kids. Maybe that's, that's why I said, well, maybe she, maybe that that happened, and she. But his didn't kids, wanna... but his kids were grown by the time he did that. He didn't change his whole last name. Wait a minute, his last name at McKnight? Child, his kids what's ain't his got his last name. Wait a minute, is that is, what's his name? What's is? his name? Google it. I, child, what is it? Brian know. Waters? I don't, let me see what he changed Wait, he, his you name. Say he married an Asian. Woman. He, I think she's Asian. Somebody said Maurice Hunter. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. Maurice. Hunter. Hold on. Wait. I was definitely about to say like something please, like Brian, please. Brian Woods. <laughs> Somebody, please. <laughs> Please help me understand what's going on here. Right. Brian, what's Brian McKnight's real name? Brian McKnight legally changes his name to match his infant son. Wait a minute. She's Filipino. I said Asian. I said Asian. And right? I said Sarah Lee. So we knew what she was talking about, bitch. This is Brian Wynn. Oh. Oh God. I, I was thinking that too. Oh God. That's what I was thinking. Oh, these niggas is something. I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking that. Ooh, these niggas is something, my guy. Ooh, these niggas is something. I was thinking like niggas. Brian, Brian Kim Wong. Craig, these niggas. I'm trying to tell you. Why? Something is in the water, bitch. Now he out here eat motherfucking goddamn uh Sejon Sejon pork kimchi kimchi <laughs> and I know kimchi is Korean so don't be Brian trying to correct Chung, me. I don't give a fuck what it is Brian. it's Asian goddamn it it ain't nigga <laughs> Brian Chu someone said Brian Chu bitch the Asian version the nigga version of kimchi is cabbage and collard greens yes bitch. Brian fried rice <laughs> oh my god now on his first album he got a whole song called Mary Lee oh, which is his first wife Mary Lee. Yes. Nobody, what, what first nobody, wife? nobody, his nobody. His first wife was black. Nobody, 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 oh, nobody, black, nobody, 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 nobody does it like Sarah Lee. 